guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be announcing the third read a theme readathon theme and I will show you guys my TBR. So if you don't know what the read a theme readathon is, it is a readathon hosted by me and five other booktubers. I will leave all of their links to their YouTube channels in the description down below. Our initial thought was that we um, were doing the read a theme readathon every single month for a weekend and then we would read books surrounding that theme that we chose but it was too ambitious we couldn't like do it all together our lives are busy so right now we decided that we are going to do the read a theme readathon every three months and then we will do it from thursday until sunday so you have four days to read as much as possible so the third edition of the read a theme readathon is from february 2nd until february 5th so you have four days to read as much around the theme of poetry. We chose to do poetry, but of course there are two other major things happening in February and that is Valentine's Day and it's also Black History Month. So if you want to choose poems surrounding the theme with like Valentine's Day and Black History Month, definitely do so. Um, so right now I will show you guys the three books that I want to read in those four days. And this is also my very first time reading poetry, so maybe if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below because I don't, I don't really know what to read. I just picked them most uh, well-known poetry books because I just want to start with those first. Um, to be honest, I only know the author from one of these books, so I might, I probably should look them up. So the first very popular poetry book that I want to read is Milk and Honey by Rupir Kaur. Kaur, I think is how you pronounce, I think it's a he, his name. Um, so I don't really know if this poetry book has a certain theme or a certain story or if it's just a collection of poems, but I feel like a lot of people have been reading this. It's getting really hyped here on booktube, so I want to be a part of that hype and I really want to read it. And the second one is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by... <laughs> Look it up on my Goodreads. Okay, so The Princess Saves Herself in this one is by Amanda Lovelace, and I believe that this is a girl who posted all these poem poems on Tumblr. I'm not too sure, don't. She posted all these on Tumblr and then she self-published the book, and I believe that right now a like big publishing company wants to publish the book. So that's great. I think I'm most excited for this one because I've heard that it's really beautiful, so I cannot wait to find out if I think that as well. And then the third and last book that I have on my TV for this read a theme readathon is Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Wilson. Woodson, Jacqueline Woodson. Um, this also has to deal with people of color and how she, Jacqueline Woodson, grew, grew up. And um, this has to deal with like Black History Month. So that is why I chose this one. I think that I'm really gonna expand my reading territory with this read a theme readathon theme because I've never read poetry. So that's already a thing. And I'm gonna read something that has to do with Black History Month. And I think that's really good. Um, so maybe you guys want to read the same books that I am gonna read. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any poetry book recommendations, maybe even some Black History poetry book recommendations. You can follow the read a theme readathon on all sorts of different social media pages. We have Goodreads, we have Twitter where a lot of people are hosting sprints. I won't be hosting sprints because I don't really use Twitter. Um, we have an Instagram and I do the Snapchat. So if you guys want to see what I'm reading and how I'm doing and how the other people are doing, you can follow us on all those social media pages. I will leave the links again in the description down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you will participate in the read a theme readathon part three at six. Okay. We are really excited about this read a theme readathon and we just cannot wait to do this again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time.